Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel for today's video. Oof, so excited. Guess what came in the mail today? <laughs> for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing, doing a first impressions of the Natasha Denona Mini Love Collection. I have all three items that she came out with. So if you wanna see my thoughts, see how I got this look, all that good stuff, then just keep watching. All right, so the only thing that I'm wearing, obviously, right now is the eyeshadow palette. I just wanted to get a quick look down, but we're going to experience all of the products together. So we'll start off with the eyeshadow palette, then we'll get into the cheek palette, and then we will get into the lipstick. So in case you are looking for some details about the collection overall, it is currently available on the Natasha Denona website. That is where I purchased from. I told you guys this was gonna be my first time ordering from the Natasha Denona website as far as new releases go. I did pay for expedited, but it did get to me at a really good time. So I wasn't sure if their shipping was reliable or not, but it is. It came in two, three days time. I'm not mad at that at all, especially with what's going on with the mail right now. The collection will also be available at Sephora the 28th of this month. And I believe February 5th is when the collection is coming to Beautylish. Now to the collection, there are three items as you saw. I'll put timestamps below down to each, but overall everything has kind of this really hot pink stunning delicious packaging i love valentine's day themed collections 2020 was the year that i discovered how much i loved pink eyeshadow so i'm here for this collection on the natasha denona website you can get the collection for 80 dollars, which actually saves you about 12 dollars. that's what i ended up doing they also have a gift box set for 95 dollars. don't pay 15 dollars for a box it's not no just get the collection for $80. The box is going to go in the recycling anyways. And we're going to move into the individual pieces now. As far as I'm aware, this entire collection is limited edition, but take that with a grain of salt. It depends how well it will sell or it won't sell. So that's how long it will last. We're going to get started with the Mini Love Eyeshadow Palette. So packaging wise, you can see it does have that gorgeous chrome hot pink packaging. It has the clear top similar to all of the other mini 5 pam palettes it has a 24 month shelf life and is made in italy and the colors name are you are my true love so <laughs> each of the names are very cute it just makes a sentence so the color story that you're getting here it has more purples and then some pinky shimmers here i really like the variety in here i think you get a whole range of depth you get different textures and i just think overall as far as functionality very functional very versatile so so you get two shimmers, two mattes, and then one more foiled kind of shade. And here are what the swatches looks like. Now, if you are a noob to Natasha Denona, this is a mini palette that is inspired from the Love palette that came out around this time last year. Now, some of you are under the impression that these minis have the same shades as the big ones. For this particular palette, that is not the case. And honestly, I believe for all of them, they aren't the same colors, but the color story itself is inspired from the original palette. So you can see here that the colors themselves are very similar. Like if you were to add these five shades into the palette, it would fit in cohesively. Now, as far as how they compare, there aren't shades that are dupe for dupe. They are original. However, I will say the closest shade is going to be the shade Commitment right here, which matches very closely to the matte shade. The finish is a little bit different, but the actual shade itself is very similar. As far as the other shades go, I don't find it, the shades to be dupe for dupes at all. So if you do have the Love palette, you're not getting the same colors over again, but I will say they are close enough to where you aren't missing out if you don't pick this palette up and you have the Love palette. I don't think you need the Mini Love palette if you already have the Love palette. The tones are similar enough in my opinion. But with that being said, let's get closer to the eye, and I can't believe I almost forgot to mention this, but this is $25. All right, so I have primed my eyelid with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. It's had some dry down time as well, and we're gonna get started with this mauve purple shade. So stunning and incredibly pigmented. 
you guys. This is a beautiful shade and I was shocked at the amount of payoff that I got when I did this eye. I'm using a Gsum V34 brush just to blend this kind of everywhere along the inner half of my crease like so and it looks really really delicious. Blended out very well. This shade gets a thumbs up. This shade right here we're going into the middle shade which is my and it is a matte plum shade and I don't really love that commitment shade that's very similar to this in the love palette so I'm happy to see that you can get this shade in a different formula. Now be careful with this shade I would suggest setting your eyelid so that the color doesn't skip because I just put concealer down on this eye and applied this color right on the eyelid and I did have a lot of problems blending and I can see that being on a less tacky base this color is much easier to work with because before I really wasn't the biggest fan of this shade it was just difficult to work with but with that eye primer down and giving it some time to dry it's working beautifully as you can see <laughs> extremely pigmented so overall just really great quality I'm now gonna take my finger and go into this almost duochrome shade so this is a mauve kind of rose gold shade it's a little bit more flaky and foiled to the regular shimmer formula so I do suggest applying this with a finger or on top of a glitter glue because it could get messy if you don't really press it onto the skin but as you can see it is a stunning shade it gives you a lot of dimension it gives you that really pretty Natasha Denona shimmer all over the eyelid and it's subtle but then it pops out when the light hits it really love this shade and then I'm going to grab my Isam V9 brush and we're gonna go into this pink shade right here and I just applied this to the leftover corner of my eye and this is beautiful as well. This actually would be really stunning underneath the shade that I just applied. But I really like the shade. I feel like the pigmentation is there. It's really stunning for more of a subtle pink shimmer as opposed to that foil that we put down. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my Isam V31. And I'm using this to line the inner half of my lower lash line. That's really beautiful. So I really like this shade. This one might be my favorite in the palette. I'm going to go in with just a touch of the deep plum now. I'm use that to enhance and define this lower lash line. How pretty is this look? And then finally, we're gonna go into the highlight shade here, which is R. It's kind of described as an antique lilac. It's a beautiful shimmer formula. Just use that to highlight these areas here. I definitely dug in way more with this one, so. And that's the look with the eyeshadow. Overall, I definitely think this is a hit. You are getting five out of five great formulas. Sometimes I feel like there's one or two formulas that aren't so good in a palette of five. Every single color here worked great. It's a beautiful color story. Again, it's definitely not a need, but they are different colors than the Love palette itself. I personally really love this color story. This is one of my favorite minis. So just so you know, you're getting great quality. All right, so let's move on to the Love Cheek Duo. And and I mean, this packaging is incredible. So this guy is $42. It is made in Italy and you have an 18th month shelf life. Now, when you open it up, you get a highlighter with this cute heart embossment and then you're getting a cream blush. Now, the highlighter itself is a gelée formula. So the powder is not going to get all up in the cream and be nasty because normally she would put a cover over this for that circumstance. But the highlight doesn't really get anywhere. This is a midi size palette so let's compare it to the love cheek glow palette that came out last year so it's a deeper pink color and it's a little bit smaller it's not a quad there's only two and just so you can see the difference from last year's palette that came out not very many similarities. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the blush and the highlights and then we'll get into comparisons. So the cream blush is a rich and creamy texture that gives cheeks a flush of color formulated with a powder soft finish for long wearing natural luminosity. So how I like to apply a blush that's cream is with a sponge. This is my BK Beauty sponge and it's really bright. So you can see it's a brighter color and it has like almost a natural matte color kind of finish to it. It's not exceptionally shiny, but it's not super matte either, but you have to like a pinky blush. We're gonna use the BK Beauty 106 for this, just to see. I don't normally like to apply cream blushes with a brush, but this brush applies cream gorgeously, and look, it applies beautiful. 
with a brush here and I do not see it picking up any foundation. It's a beautiful formula. And if you were not aware, this actually is a repeat blush. So if you have the Daria Cheek Palette, it is going to be this blush. Though I will say I do think the formulation is different. This is a new one. I ordered a fresh one when they were on super sale. So you'll see this has almost a powder matte finish and you have to run your fingers on top for it to go away. Whereas in the new palette, it doesn't come with this rugged kind of powder finish. So I don't necessarily know that the formulation is different, but it sure seems that way. So this is the new color and then this is the Daria. I do think they do have a slightly different depth to them. It seems that the Mini Love palette has a little bit of of deepness to it. So I don't think they're exactly the same on the cheeks. Honestly, the difference probably is not really there. So if you have Daria, it's basically the same match. All right, now let's get into the highlight. Now this is quite a unique highlight. I really love it. I think it's stunning and I forgot my brush. So this is the Glow Impact Powder, which is a gel powder texture that fuses to the skin. For a polished radiant high shine, I'm using my Kaleidos H1 brush. This is just an absolutely amazing formula from Natasha. I love it. It's mess free. It blends onto the skin. Super nice. And this has almost like a golden mauve shift to it. It's quite unique. And on the cheek, obviously it's a highlighter. So you can see it kind of emphasizing a little bit of texture here. My skin. You guys, all of a sudden, it's been great for months. And then all of a sudden, you get a zit. You get a zit. Is it here? Is it here? Is it here? Like, so annoying. But anyways, it's actually quite natural. Like, it's not not obnoxious like I thought it was going to be, but it does have quite an impact. There's very, very, very subtle maybe glitters, but nothing crazy at all. This reminds me a lot of the Puma and Maybelline co collaboration, honestly, in that it has that unique mauve gold shift to it, if you know what I'm talking about. You're my homegirl. Beautiful highlighter overall. I think this is a nice cheek palette. Now, of course, you guys did ask me a lot for comparisons. So I did compare it to the Glow Impact Powder from last year's highlighters. This is the same formula, but it's not the same at all, really, as far as a match. I also compared it to the highlight that just came out. This is the I Need a Nude Glow highlighter. Again, similar formula not a match in my opinion. And then just for fun, I also compared it to this highlighter as well. So overall, this is quite a unique highlighter. I don't have anything in the Natasha Denona line to it and honestly, even in my collection. So I don't really think you're getting a repeat with this highlighter. Now the blush, like I said, Daria, I also compared it just so you could see the glow cream base from last year. It's a complete different formula. This is not pigmented at all. It's not really a cream blush. It has a sheer formulation, so they don't compare at all. So I think for me, I quite like this, even though I do already have the cream blush. I like having it in this small compact as opposed to this giant thing, and I think the colors are really pretty, but if you don't like a pink cheek, this is not for you. So stay away if you don't like a pink cheek, but overall, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And lastly, let's get into the lipstick. Normally, when Natasha releases lipsticks with the collection, I'm not super enthused about them, but for some reason, I was so excited about this color. Now she definitely has one of my favorite formulas of lipsticks. They are extremely soft so make sure you are storing them in a cooler area not somewhere really hot because they will melt. But this guy is $25 and I just this color is stunning but it's the same packaging as her normal lipsticks. It has the magnetic closure. So this has a 35? I can't read it on the box. And by the way, the boxes are the same color as well, if I did not mention that. 18 month shelf life, made in Italy, of course. So this is $25. This is the shade Amorosa, and it is a medium warm mauve with a neutral pink undertone, and I'm vibing with this color. I love it. Let's test it out. Mm. The lipstick does have a very soft vanilla scent, but it's nothing overpowering. Really creamy, really gorgeous. I think for me, I do want to run a little bit of a lip pencil around my lips, but you can go lip pencil list 
with this, but I just love the look of a lip liner so much. So I'm gonna do liner, lashes, all of that good stuff, and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. All right, here is the final look. We got the eyes, super pretty, lots of dimension, and the gorgeous nude lips, the beautiful pink cheek. And I've got to say, this collection, in my opinion, you all, is a 10 out of 10. For some reason, I just, I really love this collection. Now, what's a must have and what's a not must have? The eyeshadow palette, absolutely beautiful. I don't think it's the most unique or exciting color story in the world, but if you're like me and you like pinks and purples, it's a beautiful portable palette that just has scrumptious colors. So this is definitely a hit from her line. Sometimes she'll have misses, but we got a hit from this. So if you do like this color story and you don't have the original love palette, I highly recommend it. But if you do have the big love palette, you don't need it. But if you get it, it's not dupe for dupe, you know? And then the love cheek duo. It is $42, so if you do have the Daria palette, you have a blush that's similar. And even though I really do love the highlighter and I do find it to be a unique color, $42 is a lot to drop. For me though, I don't regret it. I like having the cream blush in a smaller compact and I do think that the highlighter is very, very unique. So for me, I really like it. It's a hit. And then the lipstick, just as I had anticipated, I had this feeling that I was gonna love it and I was right. If you like a mauve nude shade, this is gonna look beautiful with your pinky purple look. So if you struggle to find a lipstick that looks a good with your purple and more cool toned looks, this color right here is gonna look great with a lot of different looks in that kind of tone. So overall, definitely a thumbs up. Sorry if you were trying to save money and I convinced you to buy it, but I mean, I mean. <laughs> all right, you guys, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.